is Cécile. I'm from Paris. My name is Alan Shaw. I'm originally from Scotland. My name is Austin Horse from Brooklyn, New York. And right now I'm in Bombay, India. Welcome to the heaviest traffic in the world. There's one car for every 1.7 meters of the road, which is like half a car's actual length. And it's not just the cars. There's another 20 million people on foot. In this mess, three of the best bike messengers will race to deliver a homemade lunch to the working husbands and wives of India in what is the toughest delivery job ever. And they're off. Ahead of them is six kilometers of rush hour traffic. That is, if they survive. Uh, still, the double wallers, local bike messengers who usually do the job, deliver 200,000 lunches under these conditions right, 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 right. every single day. Whoa! Riding in Mumbai is like being in a washing machine. You know? Long cycle. That was close! No sidewalk there, cyclists just cutting through. But anyway, we are heading east of Grant Road and the traffic is starting to meet its reputation. It's Austin Hall zigzagging like he has no value to his own life. Police! The three are still neck to neck, no breaking away here. With the police car stuck behind what's, of course, a cow. Not exactly something you see very often back in New York or Paris, is it? Austin Hall still in the lead, going into a drift. He's on a fixie, so no brakes to save him. And they're in the Chaw Bazaar. Well, this reminds me of some of the back streets in London. Though, not really, no. And what would be at least a traffic light anywhere else is a barrier in the middle of the street and no, yeah, well, we're stuck. Which is a good time to switch to our double wella. As the messengers are taking care of his delivery, he can enjoy some nice views on his way to the final destination. There's a man who would know. Anyway, the peloton seems to get the flow by now. Well, flow in a Mumbai sense of the word. I'm sure they would give their right arm for a bike lane now, but you've got to ride what you've got. So, where are we now? Austin in the lead now, and whoa, Cecil got hit! Yeah, well, we surely hope so, but we're just about to hit the busiest traffic under the JJ flyover. It's almost hit the moped! You've got to be more careful than this. It's Alan Shaw and Austin Horse there weaving through the traffic. Well, honestly, it's more of a parking lot by now. You'd expect the drivers to leave at least some riding space for the cyclists, but frankly, there is none, so you can't really blame them. And here we go again. Whoa, that was some insane gap. But then again, it's as big as it gets. It's Alan now diving into the middle of the intersection. There's never a gap, because wherever the gap exists, somebody else is going to fill it. And he's stuck in a little chat with the locals. A great place to do this, guys. Don't mind my racing here. And I think I'm never, ever going to complain about the traffic in Paris. Now. And it's clear now. It's going to be a head-to-head -head between Austin Horse and Alan Shaw. One final intersection coming right up. They're putting everything they've got into it. Pumping hard past the bus. What is it? Is it a red light now? Will it stop them? No, they strike through. Who cares about traffic signs in India? And it's Austin Horse taking over from the left and into the final stretch. Austin Horse sprinting into the finish line. First place. Come on, the people are hungry. Austin Horse has won the Mumbai mess. And he's also made some mess there. Well, he's going to have to pay for it. Cecil Block, some 10 seconds behind. The push cart hit really slowed her down, but she did finish her delivery as a true professional. So it's settled. It took the world champion cycle messenger Austin Horse to conquer the Mumbai mess. But they all get a little present here, becoming true double wallers. How nice. And while it might have been a thrill for a pro like Austin, we at Skoda believe that cycling infrastructure is crucial not only for cyclists, but to keep all the traffic moving, which is exactly what's not happening here. But anyway, be sure to check out some of the highlights of bike-friendly urban design at welovecycling.com.